yo, peace and love. This is um, Vincent Moore. I wanted to um, make this video real quick because I was like a real incredible scene that I just encountered. Um, this woman comes up to me in Walgreens and um, she, uh, um, you know, she was real teary eyed. So she comes up and she's like, yo, um, your name is Vincent Moore or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we, we're talking for a second. And she's like, yo, I want to tell you, um, um, like, two weeks ago, one of my friends came over. And she, um, you know, I was going through a whole lot. And she told me to check out your page. So she went to the page, my Facebook page, and she sent me um, a friend request. And I normally always um, accept the women um, just because I talk about stuff to empower women. So she... She says she, you know, I accepted her from a question. She was reading through my stuff and I was saying a lot of things. And um, she said, like, you really empowered me and inspired me and made me feel stronger as a woman. Um, so she said, you know, so she came to Miami. She had a little short little, you know what I mean? You know, a little outfit on to show her little body and stuff. But, um, you know, she, she, she was a little bit bigger. She wasn't what society says is skinny and slim, but... She, you know, she was still doing her thing, you know, everybody who know me know I love Jill Scott. So, she, um, you know, she, like I said, she was teary-eyed and she said, um, but before that two weeks came, um, like before she came over to, um, give me the, um, you know, to tell me to, to reach out to you, I was, um, setting up to kill myself. She said, um, that she was um, gonna take pills, you know what I mean? Or put a plastic, she's gonna take pills and put a plastic bag over her head and, um, you know, uh, take her life. And she said, um, you know, my words inspired her and it um, made her feel um, that she had a reason to live. It made her feel be beautiful. It made her feel that she deserves more. She was, oh, she said she was surrounding herself with people who were um, bringing her down and, um, being negative and always being miserable and stressing her out and she was dealing with her job and her baby father and all this other extra stuff and she was like it had got her to a breaking point and um you know um it was a blessing you know like I hugged her we embraced she was like really crying like really crazy I don't want to you know what I mean but um it was a powerful moment for me as well as for her because um you know there was a time when um, I was really going through it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to sleep in, in people's cars because I didn't have anywhere to stay. You know what I mean? Like, my money was low, and, um, you know, I was trying to be rebellious and stand on my own. I didn't want to go back to my, to, you know, to, like, you know. So I was like, I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to be out here, and I didn't have anything. So I was going, I was staying in the Cypress Hills projects, and I was going in people's parking lot, going into the parking lot and sleeping in people's cars until five o'clock, 5.30 in the morning when I thought that they were gonna get up and I would, you know, get up and leave. And sometimes my feet were so frozen, like my feet were so frozen that they were numb to the times that me sitting in Rikers Island or Nassau County Jail. To me now living in South Beach, Miami, being able to uh, embrace, you know, the beautiful weather and getting the sun, this energy, and just being around positive, productive, powerful people you know what I mean it's a blessing so for her to come over and tell me that my words inspired her it really made me see as a man as a blessed God-fearing man that my words mean a lot to people and there's times that I think yo maybe people are not listening to what I'm saying but at the end of the day um, even if I'm touching one person a day that's changing somebody's life and I just wanted to express that to you guys to let you know I appreciate everybody who sends me messages and inboxes me and um, has bought the book and you know that constantly shares the messages and tells their friends because um like my like my revelation knowledge like my father always used to tell me that I have 
it it's to empower to inspire because there's enough breaking down there's enough garbage and bullshit that we deal with on a regular basis that we need somebody that empowers and uplifts us and tells us that it's going to be all right and somebody who actually went through the turmoil and the hell that you're all going through and i'm still going through it i mean i pray every single day i sometimes post and tell you guys to pray for me so i just wanted to let you guys know that i appreciate you a hundred percent this is Vincent Moore, aka Marvelous Mag. Follow me on Twitter, Marvelous Mag and Y. Um, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy your day. Check out the view that I'm looking at right now. Take this into your week, into your day. Feel inspired, feel motivated, feel blessed. It could be worse.